Let's take a few minutes and talk about some of the various features and options that you can find on rotors. We talked about some of the different sizes and so forth in our previous lesson about just, you know, the introduction to rotors. But if you're looking at a 6 inch or 12 inch model, you can get them with side inlets. I think for most of the manufacturers, they don't give you two options with and without. Generally, if you get a 6 inch or a 12 inch model, it's going to have the side inlet on it. I think maybe K-Rain has a, a model or two that doesn't have side inlets at all on them, and that's fine too. And the reason for that, for having a side inlet is that if you're changing from a four inch to a larger model, you just only have to dig a hole large enough to slip the body down in, and then you don't have to dig the trench all the way out to accommodate for the flex pipe or the hard pipe fitting to angle down without getting crimped or bent or something in the trench. That way, if you're adapting out and you already have your three quarter inch connection here for the four inch head that was already there, then all you have to do is get your little trench and shovel out and dig you a little hole here uh, big enough to slip this down in and get it to grade. So I like that option. Just if you're going to use the, the, uh, the side inlet, you just have to take this plug out and put it in the bottom here, uh, else the water will shoot out. But um, that's a great option to have on the six and 12 inch. You know, you can get check valves in the head and typically that's for a low head you know if you have some elevation drop in a zone and you when the zone shuts off you're going to have all of the water that's in the zone come trickling out the head for the next 15 or 20 minutes and that can cause some erosion around the head or maybe it's draining out onto the concrete and the customer sees it and don't like it and for one it's just inefficient if you're letting all the water in the zone drain out the lowest head so you can get a check valve there and check the, the product manufacturer specification. They'll tell you the number of feet that it's able to hold water back in. For hunter heads, I believe it gives you options of uh, seven feet, you know, of, of the elevation that it'll hold back or 10 feet for the different models. You can also get pressure regulation in the head. And that's a great feature that allows you to make sure that your precipitation rate is equal across the entire zone by equaling the pressure out. And uh, match precipitation rate has more to do with just the pressure at the head, but it gives you the opportunity to not have to use pipe sizing in the design of the zone, or if it wasn't used in the original design and you have varying pressure, if you have a long row of heads, then the pressure is going to diminish across each one and it gives you the feature of allowing you to um, even it out and maybe if you have uh, elevated pressure in the zone or in the system it allows you to bring it down most manufacturers if you check their product guide it's going to give you the recommended range that they want that head to be run at because if it's at a higher pressure, you may get misting as it comes out of the head because the water is coming out at extreme pressure and atomizing and then getting blown off of course. So it definitely helps with your efficiency in a number of different ways. Now, and for every um, product that you get, every rotor product, almost all of them come with the option of either a part circle or full circle. A full circle is a head that's set on a continuous 360 degree pattern and almost always they'll just continue in the same direction in a 360 degree pattern. And the part circle will give you the option of generally between 20 degree arc adjustable all the way up to a 360 degree arc. And sometimes on a 360 degree arc, the head may go around, touch the set limit and then come back around. And some manufacturers give you the option as when you're setting the arc, if you give it an extra click, it'll take that limit out and allow it to go around continuously in the same direction. Not all rotor heads, not all part circle rotor heads give you that option, but some manufacturers do. So some people don't like to have a whole bunch of different heads you know, around because it causes confusion with the technicians or whatever, and they only buy a part circle head and then they just adjust it to 360 or whatever they need. So uh, that's up to you, you know, personal preference on that. And, you know, every rotor head 
comes with a nozzle tree unless you buy it pre-installed with a certain size nozzle. Most manufacturers, you know, in their product lines, they give you the option to buy a case amount that's already installed with a nozzle, typically three gallon per minute or two and a half gallon per minute. But all the other ones will give you a nozzle tree. We're looking here at a, a Rainbird nozzle tree and you have a set of regular nozzles and a set of low angle nozzles. And, you know, different manufacturers have, you know, different angles that the water comes out at as it leaves the head. So that may be desirable to get the full distance that you need, or maybe the head is on top of a hill or underneath a tree with a low hanging branch and you need a low angle nozzle. Here with the Rainbird, they give you the, uh, they give you four low angle nozzles, which range between one gallon per minute and five gallon per minute. And then the, the regular nozzles range from one and a half gallon per minute up to eight gallon per minute. And obviously with the different flow rates, you're going to get a different radius or a different distance that that nozzle is going to throw. So just check the product manufacturer's guide. And also other heads give you some different selections of nozzle trees as well. For the, uh, the Hunter I-20, or uh, you get up to 34 different nozzle selections, which includes a, an MPR a set of nozzles at, um, I believe, 25, 30, and 35 feet. And this is the, the Rainbird uh, nozzle set here. That is an option that you can get for, you know, or an accessory pack that you can get for their regular 5,000 line of heads. And this allows you to use different arc configurations on the same zone. So they have here a, a 90, a 180, and a 360 degree nozzle that all shoot at the same precipitation rate and the same distance. And that's a pretty big deal because, you know, we'll talk about match precipitation rate in another lesson. But previously, if you wanted to get match precipitation rate in the same area, you would have to put all the 90 degree heads on one zone, all the 180 on another zone, and all the 360 on another zone. Or you would have to stagger the nozzles. You'd put a one gallon per minute in the 90s, a two gallon per minute in the 180s, and then a four gallon per minute in the 360s. Because obviously, in the time it takes for a rotor to do 360 degree, a 90 degree arc has done that four times. So that would give you, if you use the same nozzle size and all those heads on the same zone, then you would get a wildly different precipitation rate for all those arc configurations. But this, this nozzle pack allows you to use different arc configurations in the same zone at the same distance, which greatly helps in designing that system. Okay, so I like using these. It's a really great feature. Now, some heads, we're going to give you a, a stainless steel shaft. And these are for generally commercial areas or areas that might be prone to vandalism that are near the street. You know, generally you shouldn't be running your system during the day when people are going to be walking by anyway. That can cause some liability issues or vandalism issues. But if, if necessary, then you can get a stainless steel shaft here. We're looking at a picture of this as a hunter head with a stainless steel shaft on it. But I think a lot of the manufacturers do give that option. And so also for areas that are prone to vandalism or it's just a good feature anyway, is an automatic return, okay? And that gives you the option that once you set the head, if somebody grabs that head while it's running and twist it or mess with it, once they let go, it's gonna return back to the given set limit and the given arc setup for it. So I think that's a really good feature. And you know, and typically these upgrades on these heads will cost you anywhere from an additional 75 cents to a dollar for each upgrade. And some of the premium heads like the i20, the PGP Ultra, or the 5004 Plus, you know, they'll give you um, several different options in there, or some of the heads come with all the options on it. And there's one last feature that you may be able to find, and not every manufacturer gives you this, but it's a shut off. It's the, abil uh, the ability to shut this head off while the zone is running. And uh, for the 
Hunter gives the shut off on the I-20. And for the Rainbird, we're not looking at a 5,004 plus here, uh, 5,004 plus head here. They have a green top on them, but the 5,004 plus gives you a shut off right at the top there, which is just, you know, you insert the flathead screwdriver in it and you can shut it off. And that allows you to take the nozzle off so that you don't have to go all the way back to the timer or use your remote control to shut the zone off take the nozzle out, replace it. You can just shut the head off there, replace the nozzle, and then turn it right back on, which is a great time-saving feature. Or if it's in an area to where you need some intermittent water, like you don't necessarily need that head to run all year long, uh, maybe if it's a mixed use zone that it's, you know, shooting over a bed or across turf that's only warm season, Maybe you need the shut off that you can shut the head off for part of the year and then turn it back on. But it's a great feature to have. Um, so I hope that, you know, just a knowledge of these different features and options that you can get on your rotors will help you make the right selection, either when you're designing a system or you're out replacing heads or upgrading a system for your customer.